Well, hello there, everyone. Right now on Redfish, it's 2.29 p.m. on Sunday, February 28th, 2021. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Redfish welcome to Daisy. Daisy, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. That's all for today. Have fun out there. Thank you so much, Isabel. Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Redfish. Um, it's raining, which means I have to go get an umbrella. So hang on, just just one second, hang on. So as you can tell from the title of this video, Miss Daisy moved in. Wait, where are the umbrellas again? They're not here. Are they in fashion items? They're a fashion item, right? Yeah. What? These are the only ones I have? Oh, I haven't even been buying any. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> That's okay. But yes, as I was saying, as you can see from the title of this video, Miss Daisy moved in, and I'm super stoked about it. The only thing that was a bummer about Daisy moving in was that someone had to leave, and that someone ended up being Miss Lily. You know, Juju, versatile items are the key to any wardrobe, and so I've sent you this. It's heavy enough to keep you warm, but it's light enough you won't be too warm. It'll be useful and stylish throughout the year. Stay warm, Pecan. Oh, thanks, Pecan. But yes, as I said, Miss Lily left, but like, seriously, y you have to see my reaction when I, when I uh, met Miss- Oh wait, this is so cute. Okay, we're wearing this. Yes, when when I when I saw Miss Daisy, I ran in. I I was just with my boyfriend, and I was casually like, "Oh my God, someone's at my campsite! Like, let's go see who's at my campsite." And I ran in, and it was Daisy. And I like to think that I am not the type of person that has like one particular favorite villager or someone that I have on my island who I would never let leave. But if I did, it might be Daisy. Or she's very well like a contender. The reason being is because I just had a sweet dog of mine who passed a few days before Christmas and her name was Daisy. But also Daisy is just adorable with her little blue ears and you know blue a accents and her house is adorable and I love it. But the catch was I already had three normals on my island and any more than two is already too many. So I had to let someone go. And that person ended up being Miss Lily. The reason was because I already got her photo and I've had her the longest. And although I love her to death, I can always get her back. So yeah, let's go say hey to Miss Daisy and just see what's going on in the island. You know, it's just, it's nice. It's raining out. It's just a great day. Let's see what's going on. Daisy has, oh, let's clean that up. Daisy, her house has one of those adorable blue doors, just like Mr. Murphy's house across the way right there. And I'm I'm all about it. I absolutely love it. And the interior of her house is so cute too. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Uh, let's go say hi. Let's go say hey to Miss Daisy. Hello, Daisy, my doll, my darling. Did you come by to check on me? You're so sweet, Juju. I've relocated, but as you can see, I've got a lot of unpacking to do. Thanks for convincing me to make this change. I'm excited to be here. Her little blue eyebrows are so darling, and her little blue feetsies. Yes, girl. Oh, you little queen. Your name is Daisy. Oh. I anticipate having Daisy for quite a long time. I mean, goodness gracious, those toe beans. Yes, and um, I have seen the interior of her house before. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, just like her, and I'm excited to show it off maybe in a future video. So glad you're here, Miss Daisy. So I've noticed that I, I have a lot of people moving in and out all the time, or at least that's what it feels like. And there is no denying now that I just have the best luck with the campsite, truly. I mean, who, who have I even gotten? Like I've gotten Pecan and Fang and Fauna and Bree. Like I've gotten so many good ones. I mean, mind you, I've, oh my God, look at, look at Fauna and her little, in her little attire, her little rain attire. As I was saying, uh, I have gotten Rocket 
in my campsite before. <laughs> so maybe not always the best luck, but I feel like I, I get villagers in there a lot, and I think that they kind of patched the whole thing where the campsite gives you a personality that you don't have, because I've, I've seen that, like, or at least it used to be, that if I didn't have, like, a jock or a smug or whatever, then those would be the ones that showed up in my campsite. But, you know, I have three- or I had three normals and Daisy showed up, so I was like, what to heck? Um, hi guys, it's Sunday, so I can't get your turnip prices. And all of this stuff doesn't seem very appealing to me. What even is- what are you- what is this? Hang on. In a pants press? Interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen this item before. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, bros, um, do I have anything to sell? Oh yeah, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is that thing that was in the nook stop. Um, that thing's really cute. And, uh, I got some tree branches, but I guess you guys, uh... It's not, it's not uh, use, worth using your time selling you these tree branches. I'll just toss them. But yeah, it was, it was kind of tough giving away miss lily i'm not gonna lie i was kind of sad to see her go but like i said you know i've had her for a while and everyone oh there's one right here everyone's gonna come and go at some point probably i i figure um unless i i, I don't know i'd have to like look at the villager list again and see if there's anyone who i would ever come across that i would just truly never ever let leave but I, d I don't know. I don't know if I have anybody like that. Do you guys? Like, let me know. Who's on your island that you would never let leave? Hello, gorgeous. Welcome to Able Sisters. Hey. I haven't talked to Sable in quite a while, so let's say hi. Have you met our other sister, Label, yet? She comes to the island from time to time. Yeah, I met her. She's got big dreams, sometimes too big, if you know what I mean. But I think you'll like her. She can be a little shy around strangers, but I know that's not a problem for you. Yeah, girl, I love this um, this gay piece of clothing that you're working on. It's it's wonderful. I would wear that. In fact, they had like these super cute rainbow knit sweaters in. I don't know. I don't think that's what they were called, but they had them in yesterday, and I like about died. I like gasped out loud. Uh, anything interesting in here? These are quite pretty. They're quite pretty. I think I have... Do I have this? I have a really bad habit of buying things that I already have. But, um... Oh, you know what? I have been meaning to get a pair of these, though. Like, the violet ones. You know what? Let's just... If we duplicate, then I figure... Oh, man, I didn't mean to wear it out. If we, if we buy duplicates of things, it's not a big deal. Because, uh, uh, we can, uh, we can make wand outfits out of them. That, that's the word I was looking for, wand outfits. <laughs> Alright, you know what? This, this outfit, it's, it's a look. It's cute. I feel like I look kind of like a little, just like a little, little grandma, you know, running around the island, doing my chores for the day. Um, my day today started out so nice because I was running- <gasps> Snail! I don't think I've seen snails on this island yet. I'll have to catch some. Um, yes, anyway, my morning started out so lovely today because I was running a little bit late for work and I walk to work every day. And my si I got a text from my sister and my sister also works with children and she sent me a video of one of the little girls that she works with and the caption to the video was something like, she needs to know or like she she really wants to know and the video was so sweet it was of the girl that she works with and she said hi julia can you tell me if you've ever had an american girl doll growing up let's see who this is from for a second hand this is from paula what is it a shell stool oh i don't have that cool Anyway, that video was adorable, and so I had to pause and stop. <gasps> oh, I've been wanting this. Ooh. Today's just a good day, man. Today's just a good day all around. <laughs> Sorry I keep interrupting my own story. Anyway, uh, yeah, she sent me this little cute little video asking me if I've ever had an American Girl doll. 
and I had to stop walking to work, even though I knew I was going to be a little bit late. And I sent her back another video of me being like, hey girl, like no, I've never had an American Girl doll growing up, but I had something similar. And when I was young, I cut off all of her hair and it made me really sad, but it was okay because my mom cut it and made it into like a super cute bob and it was good. And my sister texted back and she's like, thanks so much for doing that. Like she, it was a really urgent question. She had to know, you know, it was like, it was like eight o'clock in the morning or something. And she had, uh, she, apparently that was like on her mind. She had to know if, if my sister's sister had an American Girl doll. I just thought that was so cute that she had to know that. Um, anyway, also, I had so much fun last night too because my friend Derek, who streams on Twitch, he was streaming and he let me come over to his island and take these flowers, which are some of the hybrids that I've been missing. So I just kind of smacked them here. Um, and I did decide that I was going to make this area a functional flower field. I have been going back and forth on what I was going to do in this area forever. I thought about making it fishing holes. Maybe maybe I will add a fishing hole because it's a pretty big space. But I had just been debating about it for so long and then I looked at all the flowers and stuff near my campsite and I was like, you know what, what if I just make this area like a really pretty flower field and I can put some like furniture in the middle of it like a little seating area and then yeah maybe like a fishing hole or something and just put a bunch of flowers around it and so i'm trying to duplicate these here and it's good great that it's raining because now they'll probably be duplicated but um peep this uh peep this photo that i took on derek's island i, I don't know why i didn't take pictures with the other people who were at the island with us we had so much fun it was like a little party <laughs> at like 11 o'clock at night on derek's island um but he's got a beautiful island he's a beautiful person I'll link you his Twitch channel, go over, give him a follow, and show some support. But yeah, I have so many stinking flowers and random trees and bushes and stuff up here near my campsite. And you know, don't get me wrong, it's kind of pretty, but it's also just so overwhelming and um, I need to do something with them. So I think we're going to make that that area down there a little flower field and maybe I'll just do like a little you know chill and decorate with me video where I do that. Derek is so encouraging and he's like Julia like you've got to stream like you should stream and it'd be great and I was like you know what you're right I think that'd be really fun and maybe a good way to grow the YouTube channel because um, I, I do quite like, like making videos I really enjoy editing uh, but I like the interaction too. I, it was just so much fun. And so I think he's going to help me set up my Twitch soon, but I, uh, I need my partner to come over and wire the internet a little bit better. So if I ever wanted people over, then I could do that. Cause right now my current setup, hello gorgeous. My current setup right now is that, um, my my computer's in my room and you know my room gets internet but not strong internet at all and as y'all know if you use nintendo online uh fauna are you gonna sit with me why are you staring at me <laughs> okay bye <laughs> oh man sorry all over the place per usual internet reaches my room obviously i have my computer in here but yeah, if you've ever used Nintendo on Switch Online, then you know that uh, internet doesn't do very well on the Switch. And so my my sweet partner, oh, there's a stick up there. My sweet partner, he came over to wire like an ethernet cable the other day. Was that yesterday? He came to do that yesterday, but the crawl space under the house is a lot smaller and narrower than we had anticipated. So he's going to come back with like a good pair of overalls and like a dustpan and stuff and like kind of sweep away some cobwebs and he's nice enough to run an ethernet cable all the way across the house, underneath the house, to here just so that I can make Animal Crossing videos, you know, having people over and like on Nugazon and stuff. Uh, and also to potentially be able to stream. And I'm really excited about that possibility. I think it'd be really fun. Hey Ray! Look at this black umbrella. 
that's very suiting for you. It looks quite nice. Uh, can, should we chat? Should we chat with Ray? Hey, bro. What's up, Slick? Well, let's talk. It's that time of day when I really want a snack, but I don't want to ruin my appetite either. Yeah, I get you. I, uh, I'm drinking some tea right now, but it's still quite hot. I, like, almost burnt my tongue on it a, a minute ago. I, I haven't found any of my other fossils. What did I get? Two? Oh, no, I got three. Okay. Oh, I should bury this nursery money tree. All right, well, let me go do that. But yeah, I just, uh, I just wanted to log on today and share the news or, or brag, if you will, that I have Daisy on my island now. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so happy about it. Uh, and I'm happy that I've finally made the decision on what to do with that huge blank spot on my island as well and it'll be quite tedious to move all of these gosh darn flowers but it'll also be i actually think it'll be fun i i kind of enjoy the tedious stuff in the game sometimes because i just find it relaxing I, does anyone else feel that way like you know if you're just kind of doing your chores or like hitting rocks or just doing like little tedious things that don't take like a lot of brain power it's just like quite um quite relaxing quite nice you know well thank you all so very much for joining me on this short little video and you know just listening to me ramble about my life and um fun things <laughs> i hope that you all have such a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and i will see you in the next video bye